my last sling. <laughs> What's up YouTube? So by way of introduction to this video, I'll show you what we're doing here. Those two pine trees are coming out and they are, they've been, they're on a bank and a tree tipped over near them and undermined them. They're also right over a fence. We're gonna leave the stumps tall later. The crane is a bit too short. Uh, even right now it's not at full extension, but even when it is, it's, it's too short to take a comfortable piece with so much tree above the boom. So because the fence is right under it and the ravine, which falls off to your death down into a creek, um, speed line is a good system for moving the limbs from the point of the stem down into the place in front of the chipper where the guys will be very careful chipping because their speed line rope, which is connected to our tree, will be by the chipper. So the purpose of today is just to show you the advantage of the speed line when you have something directly under you. The limbs will be a little bit bigger, big to handle. Some of them could be handled, you know, by cutting them and pitching them into the drop zone like so many of us have done for years. And some of them would manhandle the, the manhandler and it would fail. So that's where the speed line or a rigging rope to lower them straight down would come in. So Lowering them straight down is to lower them straight down into the fence and have guys on the ground moving them one at a time off the fence, unhooking, you know, one, two limbs at a time where the speed line is zoom, 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 zoom down the line. Nobody's lowering them, they're zipping. So I'm hoping these things will be kind of self-evident and uh, no-brainer-ish, but it's not always the case. Nevertheless, for those who have ears to hear, we're going to do this and hopefully show how uh, uncomplicated and, and obvious this method is. So here we go. Okay, here I am in the top. Just going to try to keep this simple. Basically what you're doing, the most efficient way to speed line in my opinion is not to Climb the tree and speed line as you go, slowly advancing the speed line, which is anchored to the trunk and has to be um, untied and retied and untied and retied as you go. It's best to just go ahead and climb to the top wherever you're going to stop speed lining. Anchor the rope there, like so. Okay. Once we get into here, we, we won't need the speed line probably anymore. We'll probably just pull this top out into the, into the drop zone. And then the whole time you're speed lining down there, you're tied in um, because when you set your climbing line near where you're set your speed line. And so the whole time you're tied in, it's more comfortable if you had some emergency or something you could burn down. Um, immediately so long as your rope was long enough which is doubtful right now because this tree is really tall but that said it's a more comfortable way so then I'm gonna go down there to where the not the ivy starts because that starts at the bottom but I'm gonna go down there to where the the lower limbs are and then we'll talk again good morning YouTube we're up in this pine tree. August has already done some explaining in his tree. He'll show you that footage. But I've gone up, I've set the speed line as high as I'm gonna go before I put the top out. So anything above my speed line will be considered top. Uh, I don't think I need to go all the way down into that ivy mess and it's not really gonna halter me from 
speed lining these things smoothly out towards the oak or out towards another little uh towards that bench there so i think i'll start here that limb down there shouldn't mess with me i'll start about here and i'll speed line everything up and then we'll pick the rest of this with the crane and it'll have some little stobs and ivy on it which shouldn't be really an issue hey how's it going oh it's going good august okay I think I might be a couple inches higher than you right now. In your mind. That's a big twin, you know. It's pretty heavy, a green limb. I don't know, my hands are probably, well, yeah, they're pretty large. I'm trying to give you guys the size reference. I'm talking a lot. I should compare this limb to the size of my mouth. <laughs> See what I'm saying? We missed the fence, but that's heavy. It's cool being tied in up above YouTube because look, when I want to set one over here, I just kind of go over there like dang Peter Pan or something. Not a very manly reference. <laughs> All right, I got several for you here. You're still hoping and praying you don't snag up down below, aren't you, Damien? The limb has to come from way out over the creek, around over the fence, and down into the drop zone. Speed line is awesome. You'll cut it off. It'll float right around. It's not rocket surgery. It's not. That limb goes down and it swings out over the fence and the fence is like, ah, and the limb is like, psych, and whips back. So cool. Ooh, you're still getting a little bit of hang up down there. So the way he's got it set up, his anchor is in front, which means when he cuts off the one that he's about to zip, going to enter a bunch of slack into the system and he's going to get some droop. Cut, pitch, cut, pitch, mining the fence down there. See? Or we could go zam, 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 like that. Not worry about the fence and know they're all headed down there to Jeff. Am I talking still? on the saw because you got your hands to use if you need them.
<laughs> I know, I know. So YouTube, especially the ones on the back side, right? Who wants to fiddle with, with uh, lowering them straight down through all that ivy and that fence? Or who wants to manhandle that? Hook it up, zip it. Fucking, he says stand up and buck. We should have one that says, sit there and zip. <laughs> I don't know. it out of there. You're living dangerous. <laughs> I said, well, I'm either going down for one or I'm going down for two. I'm ready, Jeff. Jeff's sense of humor is getting tested. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> Jeff asks if that's all the branches August has. Uh, I actually have one sling left. All right, I'll give you the last sling and then I'll take them all back if you don't mind. No, hold on, it's not. Empty magazine coming down. Woo! Time to reload. He'll put all the slings on the molly and back up it comes. The Speedline kit comes with two mollies, so if they're on top of it, they can actually be clipping them onto the spare molly while they're coming down as they're unhooking them. And then they're ready to go, boom, when you're ready to reload. Anyway, hey YouTube, are you there? This next one right here is massive. Like, I don't even know, that's, that's a heavy limb. So we have it anchored back there. That way, this line can be straight and taut from here all the way down to the anchor this way, rather than ha having all of this slack enter the system as soon as this comes off. him tightening the rope from here it looked like it just scared the fence and then dove away from it ponderosa pine is so hingy it's kind of cool you can hang a limb up take some dynamics out of it and then cut it off you want the other one as soon as Adam's looking I'll cut it so YouTube, we just keep repeating this system. One of the advantages of not rigging down, lowering down, you know, on a device is they go down at the speed of gravity. 
it's quick. That's why they call it a speed line kit. We didn't call it a slow line kit. We didn't call it a quaalude kit. We didn't call it a macrame your butt to the couch with some dabs <laughs> kit. We call it a speed line kit. Sometimes you'll when I'm working YouTube you'll see me on one spur because the leg close to the action I usually flip back like this it's kind of like the, the flamingo cut or something I just made that up but I've been doing it my whole life that withdrawing the, the, the leg that's close Okay, I got two more on. Not in that order, it's actually going to be one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that, that makes no sense to the guy on the ground, but but YouTube's watching me here. So, so check it out, YouTube. These things are going to leave here quickly. Right now, they're over the creek, they're over the fence, they're over the yard. But in a minute, with no stress, they're going to be on the driveway. You go ahead and, are you ready? You go ahead and time this, YouTube, and you tell me, was this worth the trouble? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, stop the clock. I personally think it's pretty slick. Okay, you got a hip, you got a real big one. And then a smaller one. They're still dealing with the aftermath of the five limb blitzkrieg. That was worthy. Kind of big, wasn't it? Uh, let me let me hook up. Uh, let me give you one more real quick while it's hooked. Alright YouTube, Damien's ready for a couple so we'll we'll watch him for a minute. That was a big limb, it's still rocking. I just thought of something YouTube that I should mention. So this is over the creek, that's over the creek. This one is out here towards Damien. You would think it would be better to take it this way, but my rope's here. So we'll actually take it all the way around and down, which is a good reason to keep your stubs cleaned up off your spar or then hang it up. Are you ready, Jeff? chance for it to hang up if you had any stubs down there. If there was a stub, that would have stopped it. Damien El Sasser. My rope, I got three.
from our sponsor, YouTube. Monkey Beaver Harness, back support, comfortable Cadillac, sofa. Lay around on the couch all day while you're at work in a tree. <laughs> you cut that little tiny stalk and then squish it off. You squished it like a bug. Three hooked up if he's too slow for you, Jeff. Hashtag HML. Hashtag A S A C G S. As soon as I can. I thought you were going to say Not hashtag shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn yet? Watching a dragonfly, man. He let me get right up to it. <laughs> you don't care about us. <laughs> One slice with the handsaw, YouTube. That's why I regret not having my handsaw right now. Can you regret losing something on accident? Maybe not. Uh, this one? <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs>
down and take you guys off of here. You're going with it. Ready? Count it. <laughs> B minus. <laughs> so you two, he snipped the sides a little bit there. Face cut is not like really wide open because we got the fence to mess there. The fence is like three or four feet in front of him. So he needs it to drift out away from the fence. So it's not an open mouth cut. The sides are snipped. We don't want it hanging on. Oh yeah, do it. Send it. <laughs> yeah, the wind, the wind pushed a little on us. That was a long long drop. snipped it it was a little hingy right in here and it, and it like held on and boom. Dude, mine was a little, I felt like that too. yeah pine man you better not yeah <laughs> don't like it needs to swing. yeah you don't want it holding on at the end and then swinging under and getting crazy and coming back on the fence you want some butt weight because it's gonna it's gonna fall out like this and then the top's going to drag wind more than the butt. So if it was just all bushy, it could tumble. But if you add a little bit of butt weight to it, it'll fall out and then the butt will start to catch up. And that's what you want. You want it to catch up just in time and hit flat, flatness. <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, I got an A plus. What are you gonna get? Oh. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> well, As I was going, I started feeling like I really needed to like get don't, the <laughs> We don't go lower than B minus. <laughs> Fail! Oh, half twist. I got my red pin ready. a lot of B minuses. <laughs> so that's over and I just wanted to say something about this saw again. That was one tank of gas. That was a pretty big bushy tree with a lot of limbs. Pretty decent cuts and then I chunked it down a few so I never ran out of gas. So that's more more about having the saw optimized and having the chain sharp the chain's very efficient because it's thinner the bar's thinner it doesn't have a wide curve 
and it's got good power with the exhaust modification so i really like this thing super light good for my uh my tennis elbow Just know that thing's ripping though. I had my LMI because this sucker weighed a lot. I put a lot of tension on it and then when it came off I had to add more so yeah it was a heavy one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. Yeah Jeff I'll wait till August quits messing around. <laughs>